For cheap and reliable, yes, when I say cheap, I mean cheap and reliable, check out the brand new coin sponsor, FIFACoinsale.com. You can find that in the link in the description. Don't forget to use the code Curtis for your 5% off. What's going on YouTube? Kurt S7 here for another episode of my Manchester United career mode. Now that's a massive episode in the last one, as you already know. If you don't, I'm going to bring you up to speed. We have almost signed Radamel Falcao. Real Madrid have accepted a £35 million offer. Uh, Roma have accepted a straight swap for Pjanic for Strootman. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, Rafael Varane has left Chelsea. Uh, sorry, has left Real Madrid for Chelsea. So massive news there. But one thing I wanted to clear up: a lot of people were asking about my uh, my uh, GTN, my Global Transfer Network, and they wanted to see what I had in there. And I just want to say the only instructions that I had was uh, players who are running out of their contracts. So players who are over the age of 23, and uh, to see if they had six months or left. Uh, which were remaining on the on their contract. So as you, that's why Ibrahimovic is popping up on there, and uh, Pastore, and uh, Gundogan, and players like this, Nathaniel Klein, because all these players have uh, less than uh, six months remaining on their contract. But anyways, lads, we got a massive few games today. We got Chelsea, the first one away at Stamford Bridge. That's going to be massive. Then we got Cardiff at home, which we should be winning. Then we got Southampton away, which ain't easy. And then. Transfer deadline day, lads. Massive episode. But anyways, let's get to Strand, uh, Stanford Bridge away. It's going to be huge. Now, the league table. Take a look at this. Chelsea are on top. Now, lads, they're 10 points ahead of us. Now, if we seriously, seriously want to be catching Chelsea for this title, or at least compete for a title, we really need to be winning this game here. This could bring it back within seven points. And if we beat Chelsea, City could go on top as well. So uh, this game is really, really important to the league. So uh, hopefully, lads, we can do Chelsea and we can cut the lead to seven points. All right, lads, this is the team that I'll be using against Chelsea. A 4-5-1 formation. Big team. We're away. We're going to need that position in the midfield. So... You know, that just speaks for itself. Rooney up top on his own. Strong. He can hold the ball up. Nani and Yanaze on the wings. Vidal Herrera, Di Maria in the middle. That is crucial. That's a fairly decent uh, midfield there. Luke Shaw, left back. Raphael, right back. Rojo and Hummels in the midfield. Because Phil Jones is out for the rest of the season, unfortunately. Anyways, David De Gea in net. Five minutes world class. You know the deal. This game is huge, massive. Come on, lads, we can do it. We can do it. But well Nani. Surely that's a foul, referee. No foul. Oh, you're kidding me. Get that bloody thing out the way so I can see the radar. Fire that shits me. If they score this, I'll be pissed. Oh no way, Thorgan Hazard. You are kidding me. What a goal. Yes, that's Thorgan Hazard, not Eden Hazard. That's his younger brother. What a goal outside the box. Oh, bloody hell, man. That was a foul on Nani, and the bloody radar wasn't popping up because of that stupid team lineups. Oh, frustrating, but my word, that's that's a good goal. Can't can't take that away from him. Good finish. Oh, he's kept the ball, and he's won a free kick. Well done, Herrera. Wayne Rooney territory, this free kick. But... It might be a little bit too far out for Wazza. But we're going to have a try. Oh, Wayne Rooney gets in, Wazza. What a free kick. How far out was that? Surely that was like 33 yards plus. Could have been a 35 yarder. What a goal from Wayne Rooney. Oh, mate. Look how far out that is. What a goal from Wazza. Oh, mate. Courtois had no hope. I'm pretty sure that's Courtois on goals. Actually, it could be Czech. Let's see if he's wearing a helmet. Hard to tell from that angle. But what a free kick. Doesn't matter who's in goals. Unbelievable. That could be a contender for goal of the season. Oh, it's Petr Czech. What a goal. 1-1. One, one. It's all square again. Tell you what. Can we hit him on the counter-attack? Rooney's not the quickest, but Herrera has got some good passing. Oh, Cahill's dived in there. Come on, lads. Continue your runs. Come on, Vidal. Oh, we've won a corner. Rooney, he's got his eyes set on Hummels. That's all I want. Hummels, it's come to Hummels. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so, so close. That's a good ball. Willian, no. Rojo, oh, what a goal. What a goal. Just like that, that long ball over the top. Chelsea are back in front. That was some great football. Thorgan has that again. 
What a goal. Mate, potential champions right there. I can't deny that. What a finish. Oh, Herrera again. Can he win a free kick? It's exactly right here. I'll tell you what, he's done well. Come on, Herrera. Somebody get in. Help him. Herrera, what a run. Rooney. Oh, my gosh. Great run there by Herrera. Benzema. Oh, no, he's played him in. Oh, no, Eden Hazard's fluffed it. Oh, my gosh. Ramirez, what a run. No, Willian, don't commit. Watch it, lads. Oh, is it the crossbar, Ramirez? Oh, come on. As if none of you are going to jump. The smallest bloke there in Thorgan Hazard wins it. Far out. I can't believe this. This is not good. Who's there? Hummels. Oh, my gosh. Hummels. Matt Hummels just stood there. Didn't even jump. 3-1 to Chelsea. Look at this. Rooney to Vidal. Come on, Vidal. Come on, Vidal. Vidal gets in. 3-2. Game on. Well done. We needed more from you this season. And you're more delivering like that. More finishing. Thank you very much. 3-2. Oh, that's a short pass, Vidal. Lovely stuff. Di Maria, make him pay. Come on, Di Maria. Take him. Oh, what a, oh, it's a free kick. I thought it was a great challenge from Cahill. All right, lads. Free kick right on the edge of the box here. Rooney scored a ripper just before. Can he do it again? Oh, up and over the wall. Too much power. Come on, Nani. Get inside. Well done. Nani. Nani. Oh, he's done well. Nani. Oh, he's fluffed the shot. Please tell me that's a corner. Thank you. All right, De Maria. He sees Rooney on his own. What was that Daily Blind? It's Rooney. Too much space. Come on, Wazza. Oh, what a block. Oh, no. Hummels out of all people to have the ball. Daily Blind fresh off the bench. Oh, that's a poor pass. But we've won it back. Oh, that's a foul. Nani. Look at this. Raphael's there. Come on, Rafa. Who's there? Someone help him. No options. No options. Zaha. This is my best option to get it and cross it in. Zaha. Who's there? Nani. Oh, that was it, lads. There we go. That was it. Another loss. Chelsea now go 13 points ahead of us. We now, lads, are officially out of the title race. Unofficially, because technically, mathematically, it's not done yet. But, yeah, technically it's not. But it is. If you know what I mean. I haven't confused you there enough. <laughs> Alright, so Pjanic has declined again. He is not happy with important first-team player. He wants to be crucial first-team player. So we're going to go with four years... 120, but you're gonna get your bloody crucial first team player. We need to sign him. And there we go, lads. Radamel Falcao has signed on for us. He's accepted. Get in. Radamel Falcao coming back to United. That's an awesome signing. More good news as well. Pianic has accepted. Get in. Unbelievable signing, son. All right, now, Iron Robin. He is, um, we need him badly. We need him, um, look, his form is okay. He's content now. He, he, he could be looking for a move away, maybe. We don't know these things. But anyways, it's not the point. Um, he would be a great signing and I'm about to do something which you guys are probably not going to like. But the way I think about it, where are we covered most in the uh, positions that we have? And I would say it's going to be now centrally midfield because we've got Fellaini not even playing there. We've got Herrera not even playing there. Uh, we, uh, Herrera is playing there. But now we've got Pjanic. We've got uh, Daily Blind in there. We've got heaps of players that can play in that position as well. Rooney can drop in there. Phil Jones can play in there. We've got players that can play in the midfield. And uh, the one player who could get the deal done... <laughs> who has been okay at United so far. He's done well, and he hasn't done the worst. He's done average. But, in saying that, lads, I think if we did a straight swap for Vidal for Iron Robin, um, it could get... It, that, that, that seriously could be business. So this is what their team looks like now with Radamel Falcao in their team with Pjanic. Now, doesn't that look a little bit more world-class? Look at that. Pjanic, 85 rated. Let's take a look at these stats. Look at the vision. Look at the reactions. Unbelievable. 92 ball control. 92 short passing. That is simply amazing. 
Medium work rate, uh, sorry, uh, medium in both are uh, the attacking and defensive work rates. I'm pretty happy with that. But Lads is a playmaker, finesse shot. He's got wonderful free kicks as well. Um, I just want to see them. He's 86 free kicks, mate. We've got a free kick takeout on our hands here. Now, Radamel Falcao is 89 overall. We got him up to 90 before, so... Mate, what an additions, both of them, to the team. We are starting to look the business now, lads. We just need to work on that left wing position right now. So next game, lads, we're at home to Cardiff City in Falcao's re-debut. A debut again, but definitely Pjanic's debut. So there's the team, lads. Radamel up front, Di Maria, Yanade on the wings. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, left wing, right wing. Rooney in the camp, we've got Vidal, Pjanic in the midfield, that's an awesome midfield, isn't it? And then we've got Rojo, we've got Hummels in defence there, Raphael right back, Luke Shaw left back, David De Gea in goals. Five minutes world class, lads, you know the deal. Have a look at this team here, Di Maria and Radamel Falcao together again. That should be good. There he is, that guy making his real debut, Marilim Pjanic. Come on, let's go. Rooney to Pjanic. I've always wanted to use Pjanic in my career modes. It's going to be good. Can't wait. Let's go. Vidal. This is nice play here. Have a look at this. Rooney sees Di Maria. And how Di Maria. Come on, Falcao. Get in the box. No. Di Maria's going to go all alone. Should have looked for Falcao. Promising start, though. Pjanic. All right. We're on the counter-attack. Come on, Pjanic. Can he find Falcao? Oh, what a lovely ball. Red him out, Falcao. Oh. Lewis with a great save. Didn't sa didn't push it away, just saved it. But, um, mate, things are looking good with these two. Raphael, here we go again. Rooney keeps the ball well. Give it to Pjanic. It's Vidal. Vidal to Pjanic. Look at this, Adnan. Great ball. Oh, my gosh. Adnan Yenizé going to be finishing that lad. <sighs> oh, just imagine if we had Robin there. Or even Quadrado. <sighs> De Maria to take the corner. Who's in there? Rooney! Rooney with the header! Gets in! Gets in! 1 0. Great stuff there. Solid corner there. Solid header from Rooney. Playing in the camp. Now that he's playing a bit deeper, he's starting to score a bit more goals. To be honest, he's been consistent throughout the whole season, so I can't really complain. And again, Wayne Rooney's got to be up there with De Maria for a uh, contender for player of the season. Look at this. Finds Rooney. Oh, lovely ball! Lovely turn! Come on, Rooney, you've got to be finishing that. Di Maria from the kickoff. And how Di Maria, there's no stopping him. Di Maria, oh, there is stopping him, apparently. Di Maria, look at this. Rooney, Rooney, Rooney. Oh, what a save from Lewis. Let's come back out to Vidal. He's got it. Lovely stuff. Pjanic, can he score on his debut? Pjanic has a shot. Oh, what a save from Lewis. Oh, gosh. That would have been an awesome goal. But he's still got the ball, Vidal. Oh, I see Di Maria. And how Di Maria gets in behind. Di Maria to Falcao. Red him out, Falcao! Hits the crossbar! Oh my gosh, you are not going to get more unluckier than that all season. Di Maria, lovely. Can he do the Ronaldo? Oh, he can. Does the Berber spin? That's a foul. Referee, he should be booked, Fabio, for that. And I'll tell you what he is. That was a naughty foul, Fabio. I like Fabio. He started for us in the Champions League final in 2011. I didn't want him red carded, but it was definitely naughty. All right, Di Maria is going to get this one in. Hopefully someone's there. Radamel Falcao! Oh, it's great having Falcao back at United. Luke Shaw. This is great stuff here. Luke Shaw to Adnan. Adnan to Rooney. Come on, look at this, lads. Pjanic. What can he do? Pjanic on his debut. Pjanic! Oh, pulls it wide. Tell you what, it'd be the same story of this whole season if they concede right here. Done nothing all game, concede right at the end. Not today. Not with Vidal. Not with Pjanic. Not with Radamel Falcao. We hold on for three points, which we shouldn't even be holding on. They didn't even have a shot. But anyways, lads, three points in the bag. Let's go check out the league table. So Bayern Munich have accepted a straight swap for Vidal for Iron Robin. Wow, that is massive. I'm happy with that, lads. We need a winger more than we need uh, a central midfielder. Like I said, we've got Fellaini in there. Herrera can play there. Daily Blind can play there. We've got the cover in the midfield. You know, Fellaini, Herrera, and Daily Blind, they're not even playing at the minute. And Vidal has got that spot. He's the he's probably the best midfielder. But now we've got Pjanic, who's a crucial 
midfielder. Can you imagine Robin Di Maria Falcao up front? Mate, what a team. That, that would be much... I would rather a team with Robin in the team than Vidal. Let's get him signed up. Let's get him signed up. Let's get him three-year deal. Now, he will be crucial. Um... Yeah, actually, let's, oh geez, let, let's start with 180 a week because he is old. He's a, he is a little bit old. 180, three years are uh, crucial. <sighs> let's see if he accepts. All right, he, 180 is too low for him. He definitely, definitely wants more than that. So 200, and let's see what happens. There we go, lads. Iron Robin coming to United for a Turo Vidal. That's been accepted. Now we've got a massive offer here for Chris Smalling. Look at that, 13 million for or from Southampton, rather. Um, yeah, Iron. I mean, Chris Smalling. Uh, we need him, especially now that Phil Jones is out for the season. Um, yeah, we're going to reject all future offers as well. So um, sorry about that, Southampton. So this is the team now with Iron Robin in this team. Now, if you ask me, this looks way better than Vidal in the team. Like seriously, if you had to pick Vidal versus, um, versus uh, Robin to play one season, you got to go with the player that's in the 90s. Look, he's 90 rated. Let's take a look at his stats. Mate, 89, he's a uh, positioning. Look at that. He, he's 84 vision. 93 acceleration. 93 agility. 91 balance. This guy, can, he's got it all. Look how quick he is. Mate, those stats are ridiculously good. The only thing is, lads, he's 32. But we are only going to play one more season. So, uh, after this one. So, a year and a half. I don't think his stats are going to decrease much in a year and a half. So, the only thing that I'm worried about him is... Is he's a little bit injury prone, so we're gonna have to look after him. But it doesn't matter. We got Nani there. We got Yanazaya's back up, so I'm not too worried about that. For me, a lot of you guys were complaining about Vidal in the first place when I first signed him, and you you guys were saying halfway through the season that I should sell him because he's not performing. So we're gonna give Robin a go. And if you ask me, look at that. Look at that. Robin on the left, Falcao up front, Di Maria on the right, Rooney just behind them. And then you got Pjanic and Herrera behind them. Mate, that is unbelievable. That is, at, 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 mate, that is, we should be now competing, not just for the Premier League, but for the Champions League as well. So, great stuff. All right, lads, so I've changed the kit numbers around now. So, let me just go through the, all the players that have been changed. So, we've pretty much, now Pjanic was eight because we swapped in with Strutman. Strutman was eight, but now we've swapped it. Pjanic is now number six, a bit more deeper in the midfield. I'm happy with that. So he is six. Herrera is 21 still. Radamel Falcao is number nine. Of course he is. Ian Robin is number eight now. Now I was going to make him number uh, like 18 or something like that. But I think eight's better because he's number 11 and uh, at Bayern Munich. But Adnan's 11, so he ain't going to be 11. And 10's Rooney, so he can't be that. So, 8 is Robin. Oh, I was going to give him 23. 8 versus 23. Uh, 8 suits him, I reckon, better. A single number looks nicer, anyways. So, that's pretty much all the numbers, lads, that has been changed around. Other than that, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And, um, yeah, and obviously, Wilson's now number 49 as well. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's it for the kit numbers. So, we've got a massive offer here for Javier Hernandez, who is unhappy, which is um, a bit crazy because he's been playing... He's been scoring as well, so we could do with the money, but we need Hernandez fresh off the bench more than we need the money. We pretty much are now set, so I'm not looking to sell Hernandez uh, right now. If we need, he was an option in case we couldn't get Robben or um, Pjanic, but we've got them players now. I'm happy to keep Hernandez, so I'm going to reject this offer. All right, lads, so there might be a few of you guys who are upset that the fact that I sold Vidal and that I might need midfielders, which I don't think I really do, but you guys might disagree, and you might want me to sign another quality midfielder. And if you feel that way, we still have options, lads. And I know we've got no money, but have a look at this. We've got Gundigan. We can get him for free. Six months go gone left, uh, to go left, sorry, on his contract. Um, we can get him for free for the start of next year. Juventus are showing interest, but if you really want me to sign him, lads, for free, I could get that deal done also. And it's not just Gundogan. If we take a look in the uh, Italian leagues as well. Oh, sorry. If we take a look here at Claudio Marchisio. He's another great midfielder linked with United. I've never used him before on career mode. 
it might be fantastic. We could get him also. And there's one other option too in the French League. Uh, Javier Pastore. Look at that. Free uh, in six months as well. We could get three quality midfielders right there for free. Uh, but one midfield, uh, one player which I will be signing, whose player is... Um, sorry, not Van Persie. One player that I will be signing whose contract is going to end in six months' time is Nathaniel Klein. We need a backup to... Um, Raphael, so Nathaniel Klein, in my opinion, uh, let's give him a uh, squad rotational player and, um, yeah, for free. Uh, that's a good, that's a good, good uh, deal if that could get done for free as well. Uh, he'd only be cheap anyways from Southampton, but nevertheless, um, get your comments down below. Tell me if you guys want me to do that with Gundogan, Marquisio, or Javier Pastore be interesting to see. All right, lads, we got the final game of the episode. Yes, we have got the debut of Iron Robin. Let's see how we go. We got West Brom at home in the FA Cup. And this is the exact lineup we are going to go with. A 4-3-3, Herrera, Rooney, Pjanic in the midfield, Robin on the left, Falcao in the middle, Di Maria on the right, Luke Shaw left back, Raphael right back, Rojo, Hummels at center half, and De Gea in goals. Five minutes, world class. You know the deal. Here he is, Iron Robin in a Manchester United shirt. How weird does that look? <sighs> Heavily linked with United in real life in the summer, so it's not that far out of left field, if you know what I mean. But then again, so is Vidal. So uh, here he is, Robin. First touch for United. Oh, how good does he feel? Look at this to Falcao. Lovely start here, right now, Falcao. <laughs> already, lads. I can already see it. it's all right, mate. It's all good. I know you. You pay me back. Oh no, Sessegnon, Dorans, they're in. Oh my god, a little chip. First touch of the ball for West Brom and they've scored. No way, this is not in the script. This can't be happening. Tell you what, fair play from Dorans. That was a lovely, lovely little dink over De Gea. Nothing we could do about that. Top quality goal in my opinion. Oh, oh, how unlucky too. But anyways, we go 1-0 down. Oh jeez, how's he turned me inside? No, I've given away a penalty. That wasn't me, that was just, I didn't even press the tackle button. I just blocked him. Definitely a penalty. I just didn't press the bloody button. Yeah, look at that. Oh, actually, yeah, you can see I didn't even go for a tackle there. But there was contact, he's gone down. Come on, De Gea. Save this, lad. Come on. This would be massive if you've saved this. Oh, went that way! No way. 2-0. Shit. This was meant to be like the dream team elite. We're 2-0 down to West Brom at home at Old Trafford. Oh my gosh, how's that not gone in? Oh, oh my gosh, almost 2-1 there. Di Maria, mate, he's on something else. He's just on another level. Raphael, to Radamel Falcao. Come on, Falcao. Can you see someone? No, he's got an eye for a goal for himself. Radamel Falcao! That's why I needed a world-class striker to score goals like that. Get the ball, son. Let's go. Game on. 2-1 down. Ah, oh, tell you what. We weren't seeing goals like that before. Radamel Falcao, welcome back to United. <laughs> tell you what. Robin's all on his own. De Gea's picked him out. And a Herrera to Falcao. Give it back to Robin. He can create something. Come on, Robin. He's in the box. Iron Robin, what can he do? Robin on his debut! Ah, oh, get in, Iron Robin! Yes. Get in there! Iron Robin, welcome to Manchester United, son. What a goal. He literally did everything on his own. I know Falcao got the assist, but Iron Robin basically just took on about four blokes and just went bang to the top corner. Game on, two all. What a game, what a game. Oh, jeez, he's ripped me there. Come on, Matt Hummels. Oh, we got lucky there. And I'll tell you what. Can De Gea... F no, 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 no. Oh, my... I was about to say, can De Gea find Robin, who was on the counter-attack? He was running. Stupid me. I've given them a goal. I've gifted them a goal. No bloody way. Robin, let's go, Robin. Make something he can create. Far he's got some pace about him. Oh, Robin, get in the box. My hill. Oh, it's a corner. 
Oh, and Robin, man, he's so dangerous. He's so quick. Oh, look at this. And Herrera. Can you find Robin? He can. Robin. Come on, Iron Robin. Who's there? Anyone there? Robin. To Rooney. Come on, Rooney. Create something. To Pjanic. Come on, Pjanic. Has a shot. Pjanic. My hill. Oh, my gosh, man. So, so close. Di Maria. Look at this. Di Maria. To Pjanic. He's still got the ball. Pjanic. Look at this. Di Maria. And how Di Maria. Can he find someone? Oh my god, how many West Brom defenders are there? Alright, we've got De Gea up for the corner. All out attack now. Come on, all I want Hummels those. Hummels! Hummels! Alright, it's come out to Rojo. Smash it! Oh my gosh. De Maria! Oh no, it's come down! Took a deflection. Is there time for one last chance? Pjanic finds Nani. Come on, Nani. What can you do, son? Nani gets inside the box. Who's in there? Surely that's a foul, referee. Oh, no. No way he's blown the whistle. Can you believe we are knocked out of the FA Cup from a stupid penalty where I didn't press the tackle button and a stupid mistake with De Gea where I gave, I gave them two goals and they scored in the first minute of the game. When I'm shit, I will say I've played shit and I didn't deserve to lose. But this season, man, I have been so unlucky. Like, really, really unlucky. Fair play to West Brom. When you come to Old Trafford and take away three goals, I guess you deserve to win. Anyways, lads, that's the end of this episode. Let's take a look at the uh, league tables, which you guys wanted to see. Um, we didn't play too much in the Premier League, but as you can see, lads, we are in fourth position. Uh, top four is a must. We really have to be finishing top four. But I'm confident. Now that I've got the squad that I really wanted, um, I think now we can go push on. The players will be happier. Like Fellaini and uh, Herrera and Daily Blint who weren't getting a game before. I'm, they, I'm confident now they'll get a game. Adnan Yenizay, everyone's going to push on now. Uh, I'm confident we can definitely finish in the top three. Um, it's just a shame that we lost to Chelsea and uh, now look at that we're 16 points behind We do have a game in hand though. Oh, it's frustrating. But anyways lads, that's the end of this episode I hope you like the signings and uh, give me your thoughts and your opinions in the link in the description I'm oh, sorry in the comment section in the uh, down below. Please tell me what you think good signings bad signings uh, I'd love to have your input Anyways, lads, that's the end. So please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All those things which you can find in the link in the description. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care. Boots. Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas.